Collaborations, and I'm bringing you another awesome collaboration today. Teamed up with my good friend Amber Love Cider, and we are bringing you Thatcher's Haze. If you want a chance to win these beautiful bottles, we are giving them away at the end of the episode. Stay tuned, and you will find all the information. Today, I am making the Thatcher's Haze Spritz. Now, every week, I say to sterilize a kill in a jar. This is a kill in a jar, it doesn't have to be specifically that. You could have some Tupperware or anything. Anything that's got a lid, you want it airtight, that's the main thing. You want an airtight vessel. So, you get your clean one, you rinse it with fairy liquid, loads and loads of water, then you just get some vodka, any vodka will do, and you're just gonna pour it in, that simple. Maybe swirl it around a little bit, get it on the edges. And I'm gonna give it a further swirl. Again, the reason we're doing this is so all the bacteria is gone and the liquor doesn't spoil. Sorry, the infusion doesn't spoil. There you go, bang, put it back in the bottle. Use that later, sorted. Now, depending on the fruit you're using to infuse, it might take a little bit longer, it might take a little shorter. If you've got a hardy fruit, like an apple, or maybe a stone fruit, it's gonna take longer, maybe about a month. If you're using cucumber like we are today, or mint, that's only gonna take about a day. Now, what I do recommend you do is just try it every day. Now, as you can see, I've done massive long ribbons with a huge surface area on the cucumbers. That's so they infuse really cool, but they also look good, so they're gonna do a really nice garnish. You can eat them at the end with the cocktail as well. Sustainability, guys. So, very simply now, I'm just gonna put all the cucumber in to my nice sterilized kill in a jar. And then we're gonna go for the mint. So I said two to 400 grams, as I'm sure you kind of realized already, I don't really measure that much stuff here. I kind of do it all by eye. I like to taste it as I go. Do it the way you want to at home. If you're one of those people that wants to like measure everything out, you do it, you know, it's up to you. Chilling, easy. Now I'm gonna pick some mint in. Now the main thing with the mint is you just don't want the stems. The stems, it's a little bit of a bitty taste. You don't really want that. You just want the nice, fresh, mint taste. Now again, it's really important that you've got fresh mint for this. You don't want to be getting mint that's a little bit dark. Um, you just want really nice green leaves. For about three sprigs worth of leaves here. Boom, so now we're gonna pour our gin in. I've got 325 mils of gin. It's um, non-branded gin today because when you're infusing it, you want the flavors that you're trying to infuse to come through. No point put in whatever kind of a pink gin in and a load of raspberries, because it's already pink. And then I'm gonna close it. You wanna leave it for a few days, come back to it, taste it, make sure it's all good. So this is the one I've just done now. And this is the one I did three days ago. Uh, I've been tasting this every day. Yesterday it was all right. Came back to it again today and the mint and the cucumber is really, really singing through. So yeah, not that long on this infusion. So I'm using a, tea, uh, a little strainer here. Um, but yeah, you really don't need that much to kind of infuse it out. But as I said, the main thing is we're gonna keep all this goodness in here because that is gonna be really tasty as a garnish. It's gonna make it look good. You can post it on Instagram, show all your mates. Bang! And there we have, see, you can see a little tint on it. If you wanted to use a uh, coffee filter, you would take out all the little excess bits, but I don't mind those. I don't mind if it's a little bit cloudy. It's not a problem. We're using Thatcher's Haze, so it's gonna be a nice, cloudy, beautiful drink. So the ingredients for this amazing uh, Thatcher's cocktail is Thatcher's Haze. We're also doing a really, really cool giveaway at the end of the episode, so stay tuned to find out about that. We're gonna use our gin. 50 mil uh, and a, a lime, boom. We're gonna finish it with a lime because limes are nice and crisp. Again, it's refreshing. So first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna chill the glass up. So the colder the glass, the less it's gonna dilute, the better it's gonna taste. Where I'm gonna do that is I've got a little bar spoon here. You can use anything that you've got at home, like a fork or a knife. Just gonna twizzle it in, get that glass nice and cold. And then we're gonna get rid of it, but just get rid of the excess water. Get rid of all that water and then we're gonna top it up again. Look at that, look how cold that is. Who doesn't want a glass like that in this weather? Next thing I'm gonna do, is we're gonna try and make this glass look really, really nice and cool, like you're actually sitting at a bar. I know they're not open at the moment, so we wanna try and feel like we're still living our best lives, you know? So, excuse the hands, but again, this is for me. I'm gonna slowly bend that ribbon in. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Cool, so we got that in, and again, I'm gonna get rid of all the ice, cause, I mean, we've got quite a few lights here in the studio. I don't want any water in, so any excess water. We're gonna go for 50 mils. So we've got our cucumber gin in. And here's the start of the show, Thatcher's Hayes Cider. Um, we're gonna be using this kind of almost as the Prosecco of this drink, if this was an Aperol spritz. There are loads of different spritz you can use out there. So boom, we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna pour that in. I'm gonna pour it half in. 
Why do you want to pour it half in? Well, one, because it fizzes up a little bit, but also because I want to stir it in. Boo and nah. <clears throat> that was shit! <laughs> Boo! Who am I? Miss Dynamite! So I'm just going to put a few finishing touches. I want a bit of lime squeezed in there as well, just to add a little bit more of a refreshing kick. I'm not going to actually add half, I'm just going to add two. We've got the amazing cider and we don't want to kind of mask the taste of that because that is the... Again, we're going to mix that in. Oh, that smells so good, so refreshing. Nice, so we're going to get a nice, beautiful looking mint sprig. And then I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of a bougie garnish. So this is just the lime zest. You just get all the essential oils from it. So this is really for the nose when you go in. So like if you're in a cocktail bar, put that, oh, just there like that. So when you come in, you get the nose. You get the lime and the mint straight away. And we're going to finish it off with some nice paper straws. There you have it, it's my Thatcher's Spritz using cucumber and mint gin. Really, really refreshing, this is exactly what you want. Ha! Let's go! <laughs> that is so refreshing. Now, if you'd like to try this at home, we've got an awesome giveaway in conjunction with my good mate, Amber Love Cider. We are giving away from Thatcher's six bottles of Thatcher's Hay Cider. All you have to be is over 18 and like both of our pages. Both the links are gonna be at the bottom of the video, at Amber Love Cider, at Leng Libations, like those, both of those pages, um, and you will be entered into the prize draw. Thatchers are going to send you six beautiful bottles of the Thatchers Haze, and we'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway at the beginning of next week. You know what to do, guys. Ba -da -da -da. Bang the bell, like, subscribe, share, leg libations, Amber Love Cider, Thatchers, boom!